Above the king's chamber in the Great Pyramid are five further chambers. I think the problem is that archaeology doesn't allow that monument to speak for itself. It is very hard for archaeologists to explain how that was done. The largest pyramids around the world are remarkable feats of engineering and architecture, embodying the technological advancements of their respective civilizations. Nestled in the region of Puebla, Mexico, before the Spanish conquest, a monumental structure was erected that remains an awe-inspiring testament to the ingenuity and spirituality of the ancient cultures of Mesoamerica. Known as the Great Pyramid of Cholula, translating to Made by Hand Mountain, in Nahuatl, this pyramid stands as the world's largest by volume, with an astonishing volume of approximately 4.45 million cubic meters. It's not only the biggest pyramid globally, but also the largest monument ever constructed by any civilization, ancient or modern. Constructed from the 3rd century BC through the 9th century AD, it served as a multifaceted center of worship and community. Unlike the Egyptian pyramids, which primarily served as tombs for the pharaohs, the Great Pyramid of Cholula was dedicated to the worship of Quetzalcoatl, a major deity associated with the wind, air and learning. The architectural marvel of the pyramid, with its base measuring 450 by 450 meters and reaching a height of 66 meters, remains mostly hidden under a layer of earth and vegetation, resembling more a natural hill than a man-made structure. This appearance results from centuries of neglect an intentional covering by subsequent cultures, making the pyramid a series of platforms built on top of one another over several generations. This contributed to its immense volume and sprawling base, making it a palimpsest of the diverse cultures, including the Omeka Shikalanka and others that left their mark on this ancient site. Atop the pyramid stands the Church of Our Lady of the Remedies, a symbol of the Spanish conquest and the forced Christianization of the indigenous population. Constructed in the 16th century, this church represents the visual and symbolic fusion of pre-Hispanic and Spanish colonial periods in Mexico, placed strategically to assert the dominance of Christianity over the pagan religions. An intriguing theory about the pyramid's construction suggests that it was intended to mimic the surrounding mountains creating a man-made version that could be seen as the center of the universe or a point of communication between the divine and the earthly. This is supported by its nickname and its orientation, which aligns with the cardinal points and significant celestial events, hinting at a deep astronomical knowledge and spiritual significance. When compared to the Great Pyramid of Giza in Egypt, which is often celebrated for its precision and scale. The Great Pyramid of Kalula surpasses it in volume and the length of time over which it was constructed. Within the ancient city of Teotihuacan, Mexico, the Pyramid of the Sun stands as a testament to the astonishing architectural capabilities and profound astronomical knowledge of its builders. This majestic structure, erected around 200 CE, is not only the crowning jewel of the Teotihuacan complex, but also ranks among the largest pyramids in Mesoamerica. Its creation, achieved without the modern conveniences of metal tools, wheels, or animal labor, showcases the extraordinary dedication and advanced engineering skills of the Teotihuacan people. With a staggering volume of about 1.2 million cubic meters and soaring to a height of 65 meters, the pyramid's scale is nothing short of awe-inspiring. Its base sprawls over more than 10 acres, a space filled with approximately 3 million tons of stone, meticulously placed by countless hands. The Pyramid of the Sun was far more than an architectural marvel. It was a nexus of cultural and religious significance in one of the largest cities of the ancient world. Otihuacan, at its zenith, was a bustling metropolis of over 100,000 inhabitants, and the pyramid likely served as a sacred site dedicated to a deity, possibly the sun god. This dedication speaks volumes about the city's cosmology and the pyramid's role, not only as a ceremonial center, but also 
as a possible funerary space. One of the most captivating aspects of the Pyramid of the Sun is its astronomical alignment. Researchers have theorized that the pyramid, along with other structures within the city, was deliberately aligned with the movements of celestial bodies, particularly the sun. Such precise orientation and dimensions of the pyramid may have been designed to mark significant solar events like equinoxes and solstices, integral to the Teotihuacan calendar. This deep understanding of astronomy and its integration into the city's architecture and urban layout underscore the advanced knowledge of the ancient Mesoamericans. When we draw comparisons between the Pyramid of the Sun and the Great Pyramid of Khufu in Giza, Egypt, we find intriguing contrasts and similarities. Although the Pyramid of Khufu stands taller, the Pyramid of the Sun impresses with its broader base and substantial volume, reflecting different architectural ambitions and technological approaches. While the Egyptian Pyramid served as a monumental tomb emphasizing the afterlife, the Pyramid of the Sun was more aligned with celestial worship and communal rituals, reflecting the broader cultural and religious landscape of ancient Mesoamerica. Yet both structures manifest the universal human aspiration to connect with the divine, whether in the veneration of gods or in the commemoration of monarchs. Further excavations have unveiled a network of caves and tunnels beneath the Pyramid of the Sun, likely holding ceremonial significance and possibly representing the underworld in Teotihuacan's cosmology. The pyramid's construction technique, featuring the Talud Tablero architectural style, became a hallmark of Teotihuacan and was replicated across Mesoamerica. Moreover, the city's layout, with the Pyramid of the Sun at its heart, was meticulously planned to align with the cardinal directions, adding another layer to its astronomical and cosmological importance. Moving on to the Great Pyramid of Giza, a masterpiece that has stood the test of time, remains one of the most magnificent and mysterious achievements of ancient Egypt, constructed during the reign of Pharaoh Khufu, around 2580 to 2560 BC. This pyramid not only serves as a testament to ancient Egyptian grandeur and engineering prowess, but also continues to be a source of fascination for historians, architects, and travelers from all corners of the globe. Originally soaring to a height of 140 meters, it's slightly shorter now, at about 138.8 meters, mainly due to the loss of its outer casing stones and capstone. Nevertheless, it held the title of the tallest man-made structure in the world for over 3,800 years, a record that speaks volumes about the skill and ambition of its creators. What's truly remarkable about the Great Pyramid is the sheer scale of its construction. Its base covers an area of 13 acres, with each side measuring 756 feet and it was built using approximately 2.3 million blocks of limestone and granite. These blocks, weighing on average two and a half tons and some as hefty as 80 tons, were precision cut and transported from distant quarries, a feat of logistics and craftsmanship that remains awe-inspiring even today. The precision in the pyramid's construction is almost unparalleled. The base is almost perfectly square and its alignment with the cardinal points of the compass is extraordinarily accurate. Inside, the pyramid houses three main chambers, the king's chamber, the queen's chamber, and the subterranean chamber, connected by narrow passages. The grand gallery leading to the king's chamber is particularly striking with its corbelled roof architecture, reaching up to a height of about 28 feet. One of the more intriguing theories about the Great Pyramid is the Orion Correlation Theory, proposed by Robert Boval in the 1980s. This theory posits that the layout of the three main Giza pyramids mirrors the alignment of the three stars in Orion's belt. This celestial mapping with the constellation Orion associated with Osiris, the god of the afterlife, suggests a profound cosmological and spiritual dimension to the pyramid's design, highlighting the ancient Egyptians' deep connection to the cosmos and the afterlife. Drawing a comparison between the Great Pyramid and the Colosseum in Rome offers an interesting perspective on the architectural achievements of ancient civilizations. 
built nearly 2,000 years apart, these structures represent the pinnacle of their respective societies' architectural and cultural aspirations. The Colosseum, a marvel of Roman engineering, was designed as a venue for public entertainment, capable of seating tens of thousands of spectators. In contrast, the Great Pyramid, with its focus on architectural precision, spiritual beliefs, and the significance of the afterlife, exemplifies the ancient Egyptians' engineering genius and spiritual depth. Despite their different purposes, both structures stand as enduring monuments to human ingenuity and the architectural legacy of their creators. Among the many fascinating aspects of the Great Pyramid are the casing stones that once covered it, made of polished white Tura limestone that would have made the pyramid gleam in the sunlight. The temperature inside the pyramid remains a constant 20 degrees Celsius, mirroring the Earth's average temperature. Additionally, the pyramid was originally surrounded by a massive wall, known as the Wall of the Crow, remnants of which still exist today. The techniques used in the construction of the pyramid, especially the method of lifting and placing the stones, continue to be a subject of lively debate and fascination. With its complex cosmology, architectural brilliance and enduring mystery, the Great Pyramid of Giza continues to inspire and captivate, embodying the rich legacy of ancient Egyptian civilization.